I'm the biggest fight, and I think it's got to the end of the line where it's basically for him. We're giving you too much money for who you're fighting. Unless you're gonna fight him, then we don't like what. Yeah, what yeah, else yeah, are you yeah, doing? Yeah. Like, there's no one else at these weights. Oh. I'm I'm him. Is he taking an L yet? Is he seven and zero? No, he's seven and zero. Yeah. But I'm him at the division. There is like if anyone in my division from anywhere in the world wants to make a name, like yeah, but is, no, is yeah, but that's a bit of a giant though. That's, that's, that's what I was gonna say. Is he world <laughs> level? He... Yeah, well, he's a Olympic gold medalist, man. He's a yeah, but yeah, that's he's three amateurs, years older bro. than me. Yeah, but now, actually, let me not try and not sell the fact. But yeah, he's free, man. No, but he's, he's older than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My life is just constant, like, what is happening right now, mm. now in the next five seconds. Mm. Like, I'm ADHD, so I kind of, like, get over things really quickly. Mm. I get in the ring and I enjoy getting in the ring. Like, that is my favourite part of the year, really, mm. having the fight. If I've got someone that can come spar me, yeah, and they're good, they'll be the one coming back. Yeah, if yeah. I get someone in that I just punch up by the second, third round, I'm going to Grant. Don't bring him back. And he yeah. won't come back. Yeah. Because I don't get that same feeling. Yeah, I don't get yeah, that, yeah, like, yeah. like, I need a challenge. I need, like, like, when you lot were kicking off in here earlier, mm. I came running around here not knowing what to expect, <laughs> yeah? talking we're the talking podcast back again it's the hustler pound stalocious big duggy dug special yeah. guest in the building again hat trick round of applause for the hat trick visit uh come on uh, third time <laughs> <laughs> you uh, pulled up by himself pulled up with jk and pulled up by himself again it's, mm. the, it's the it's the champ always the champ in my eyes belt, yes. no belt it's the champ yeah sunny edwards come fresh on, with a fucking Top scarring is just above the eye on the last fight. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel good. I feel good. I've had a busy weekend. Um, I was with my uh, fighter, Georgia, we fought last night. Mm. And, uh, the, co uh, the copper box, Johnny Fisher on the card. Mm. He got the win, and yeah, straight back on, straight back on. Moving from that, yeah, we know you're the boxer. Talk about the management side, because you do this. You've got the management going on a lot now. Um, how many how many guys you got on your roster now? Um, I think, not to miscount, I think I'm on seven. I'm on seven. Big fighters. business. We need to talk yeah. off camp, brother. You know, yeah. <laughs> we need to talk off camp. Yeah, hit me. That's why this. That's why his brother's not getting back to me again. Now we need to. I'm no, busy. Now you got me, bro. We're talking no, about I'm camp. Busy, man. I said seven brothers. You know, sometimes I call this fucker. You don't bro, get back to me. That's why I'm in London. That's why I'm here. That's yeah. why I'm in London, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't I say that. So how have you been? How have you been managing fighters for them? So. Do you know what it was, yeah? There was, um, because the way I do it, I'll lay it out simply, yeah. I'm not in a position where I would offer myself to be, you know, the, the sole manager of a mm -hmm. fighter. Mm -hmm. I've got my own career. There'll be times that I'm in camp. There'll be times that I'm you know, on a fight day, etc. So mm -hmm. I can't always be 100% there. Now, we're in a world where you can yeah. do a lot over the phone and get people there mm -hmm. when the network's strong. Um, but I am no one's 100% manager. Mm -hmm. What it's more like is, I might have brought the fighter to a manager. I might have been brought in from the manager to the fighter, like yeah, a few yeah, different yeah. ways. Um, and most of them, all of them really are my friends. Yeah, yeah Sparring yeah. partners and friends, I'll be, I'll be real. And uh, yeah, yeah. my thing is, I love boxers. I love mm. boxing. Yeah. So I understand the, the dynamic of it's boxers versus promoter, really. Yeah, yeah. And usually the manager should be on the boxer's side. Mm. But if you're with a certain manager, say a manager that promoter would be confident mm. oh yeah why don't you go with this manager mm. well, of course you're gonna say that if you've got a great relationship with him because a promoter is not gonna give a fighter uh, a manager a fighter mm. that they're working with unless they're really easy to work with mm. now why would that promoter make their job harder in the future Fair. by giving them the best manager Fair. they're not gonna do that yeah, yeah. so my thing is i will always represent my fighters i only want to represent friends really it's it's Right now, it's not like a, the financial part of my 100%. It's like a, a small dividend that will hopefully grow in the future. But yeah. like the way I really see it is I only want to, want to support them. So there's some fighters that maybe spoke to me that just because I've got no real connection or personal relationship, I know I won't deliver them the same energy that I've got mm. for my friend. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, this is why I'm in London. Uh, a fight that I'm very, very excited about. Um, 
Giorgio Visioli, he just went 4-0. Um, he's got three knockouts, one of the, the brightest prospects, hasn't put a foot wrong. Barely got caught with a shot in four fights. Um, he was boxing out of Repton. He, he turned over, went straight with Matchroom. He was out yesterday. Um, I've got um, Thomas Asombo, who's my old opponent. Yeah, He's yeah. got some real big news. Uh, You've been talking uh, to me about him for a long time. But he was my old opponent, then my sparring partner. Then mm. he came and trained, and I started managing him. He won, a, Euro, won, a, Euro, he won a European, right? European champion, yeah, he defended it. Yeah. I'm part I don't want to like, jinx things, but he might be having a very big fight soon yeah, with people yeah. that will be very familiar with who he's fighting if they know me. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, I hear that. I hear that. Might have the same last name. Yeah, I yeah. was thinking that. So all I'm saying <laughs> is, right now, there might be a show soon where you're seeing me walk into the uh, uh, ring with a, a Cameroon and Britain flag mm, mm. against my brother, you know what I mean? Doing yeah, the Don yeah. King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Coming up like Frank Lucas style, yeah. I'm thinking oh, big oh. fur jacket and that. Yeah, yeah, doing the ting. Mm-hmm. Doing the ting. Mm-hmm. Great, innit? But then I've got a few other fighters. Ishmael Davies, who signed with Matchroom as well, like Giorgio. Mm-hmm. Um, got uh, Nikolai, Ed Hardy, the two Brandons, Brandon Scott and Brandon Dayord. Brandon Scott's uh, signed with Matchroom as well. Brandon Dayord's English champion, yeah. I've got... Seven fighters and I'm I'm excited to work with all. No, you're doing bits, and and I'm joking when I say that. No, nah, it's not like you. You've always he's always been on this thing, and he says to me about like the management side, and it's really just a thing of like supporting the guys and helping push their thing forward. Yeah, I'll all. be wrong. This, I'll be it's wrong. What, it's what man. It's what man does and what man's about. Opening the door for them, isn't it? You know just I mean? just accelerating the process, yeah, like yeah, yeah. knowing the moves. You've been you've been through it. Sometimes it's for you to go through it, and then they don't have to. You can give them some advice, yeah. even if it's an advisory role and all of that. Yeah, not just that. It's also like the conversations I can have. Because mm. I'm one thing I notice is because I'm. Uh, uh, I don't know, like a good level fighter, and I'm headlining. You're a highly shows decorated fighter, bro. You're a world champion. Yeah, but what I mean is because I've got to this level, I'm already in a conversation with all these guys anyway. Mm. So I might as well just have a few fighters I'm looking after and just mm. slipping them in and making moves, and, and it kind of works. Like when I headline a show, I've got leverage on the show. I can get a fire on the card. Yeah, you know what I mean. What, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, like when I fought in America, I got a kid from my gym, Janae Boston, on the card, mm. and he had his American debut. Yeah, you know sick. what I mean. So. Got to use your leverage yeah. all the time. Did when I booked in Sheffield, I had three fighters on the card. Every I fight I managed at the time was on the card. Remember, that's good business, bro. How yeah. did Janae get on all right? Yeah, yeah, he won, he won in a good fight over there. Yeah. Um, but that was that one this time, that was the time before. A mm-hmm. little bit less leverage after. Them way there. Who's winning, AJ or Dubois? Um, I, I don't know. I, I would have fought AJ. I'm saying AJ, can't I, 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 and. I thought everyone else would have, but I feel like there's quite a few whispers for the bar, like more than I was expecting. Everyone saying how hard he hits and AJ just, but I think AJ's a monster, man. Just because he's he's been shown human against some good fighters, mm. like don't mean he's completely. Yeah, I think AJ wins, and I think the aggression is back, and I think yeah, that the Davison's doing. Ben Davison, yeah, brought him back to win. Don't because I'll be real, yeah. Mm. One thing with Ben, he he, I'm not gonna say play. He works on fighters' minds. Mm. I, I can I can tell I can see I can see how like anyone that's attached to their their stable like mm. they'll always be speaking out the same narrative you know what mm. I mean on the same fight they're all saying the same thing yeah, you know what yeah. I mean it's like and I'm not saying it's a bad thing I'm just saying that's probably great mm. that they are that way you know trying to really tap into the mind because mm. that's all you're actually fighting with mm. yeah as big as muscles you've got and as big as you are if in your head you do not want to fight but for whatever reason, mm. like, how how is your body going to respond? Like, yeah. like it doesn't want to fight. Now, if mm. you've got someone that is loving the fact that they're fighting, mm. it's mindset. Yeah. I think the bar's punching above his weight. Man. Like, I just feel like... He, he had a good win, though, against... Uh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah but he, Hergovic, yeah. It was but a good fight and a good and he, he grew in the like fight. He was ready to lose for a few fights because yeah. Hergovic was really, like... Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I rated him quite highly, but then it's now... It's he's like, kind of a front runner, that Hergovic. Yeah. Yeah, he, but then he, he comes out the gate like blazing avoided, and then fades. Yeah, he like, fades, yeah. Fades. That's what, he, comes out the gate, he comes out the gate heavy and yeah. then it's like he slows down, slows he, down. He had, he had the bar on the ropes. Like, really, technically, in the first four rounds, I would have thought, then he just grew into the fight. I don't know, his dad come, the bar's dad come and started, like picking him up on the stage, you know what I mean? And it kind of like helped him grow a bit of confidence and then he grew. But then to go in that fight and be the first fight that you've won in a long time and like that, yeah, and then go in it and then go out and fight AJ on your next fight is a bit wild. Eddie Hearn's a smart fucker. Because <laughs> I would have... When he made that fight, I said, yeah, 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 like, he's just one so you can sell it, but really why in not, the heart, why, heart. Not give, why not give I him a part? I think AJ's but supposed to cook time, him. But at the same time, 
Dubois went and challenged Uzi and... And lost. No, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But in my opinion, yeah... The low Where goal. he got hit. I hear all of that. Do you know I why? Because when you're in the changing room and you've got your short... Champ, you're, you're right. Up here, you're yeah, right. This is what the ref will say to you. Ah, oh, that's not a low blow. No, I agree with blow, you. Like yeah, somewhere yeah. on the waistband. I agree with you. Yeah, but agree. Well, what about I this though, champ? All I'm saying is, I don't think Uzik got hit in a no, place nor do I. is required to uh, Nor do I, but I'm yeah, saying yeah, this yeah. to you. So, I'm saying so this. was it low? Yeah. I'm saying it, it wasn't. Was I feel like it was. It was, was I, I'm saying, saying it was borderline. It's but I'm saying. Low, but I'm saying this to you. Down. I'm That's saying like, this to you. If time. if he knew it weren't low, he would have got up no, and cooked him. Yeah. Go back and watch it. Yeah. But Go back then, and watch it. Just the moment when he's on the floor. But I believe. No, no. But look as Uzik tries to move. He tries to shoot straight up. He goes, and you can see anguish in his face. He was. He was rooted to the ground. The yeah, and then yeah, when yeah. the ref ain't counting... He was mashed up. He was mashed up. He was mashed up. I'll give you that. Okay, man, was, I, I'm no, a he big was fan of Uzik. Yeah, Uzik. Yeah, 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 that yeah, punch yeah. did... I'm going to have to go back and look. I'm going to go back and look at that. My thing is, even though he fucked him up with that punch and he might have felt aggrieved that he won the fight, he's still in the fight. Yeah, he could have carried on. Give up in the ring... Like, I felt like... Yeah, but obviously, it was, it was cold, man. Yeah, he was, 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 was touching him up after that. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> one, uh, you want to hurt me? Yeah, he's like... He's like oh, fucking, okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me five minutes and I'm feel again, you know? <laughs> what, about, what about Fury Usyk rematch? Who wins? People, let's take a moment. Mm -hmm. You need to purchase your Manscaped. I'm not going to keep telling the people, don't miss out. 20% discount when you use the code winners plus yes. free shipping. The body groomers, the shavers, the beard trimmers, the hair trimmers. Oil. Trimmers. I went straight to oil. <laughs> <laughs> mad, 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 mad. Well, listen, <laughs> this beard oil. Beard, oh, beard, man bro, didn't even let me think. elaborate on yeah, the yeah, thing. Man thinking, didn't even let me elaborate. Because I was thinking, what yeah, else? Yeah, oil. Beard, beard oil. oil. Beard oil. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's right. Manscaped boxers. Mm. The Manscaped um, head trimmer. You got the weed worker, so but you also young. got the, the thing that, you see, like me, if you're if you're a booty like me, yeah? 20% discount. the thing. That I take on traveling with me. Plus three Boom, shoes. when it, when look regrowth, zoop, 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 I'm back yeah, outside you're again. Nice. You're nice. Back by the pool, chilling, relaxing, feet up, is yeah. it? And I'm telling you, people, it will change your life. Your love life's gonna be different. Different. Your dad's gonna be, hey. Respecting it. Trust me, streamline strokes. Streamline, no yeah. resistance. See what I'm trying to say to you. Cousin T, you've been using your Manscaped 4.0. Man said, I'm winning all the way through. That's what I'm talking Nothing about. Nothing more needs to be said on that. Make yeah. purchase manscaped.com. Use the code winners, 20% discount plus free shipping. Use Done the though. code winners. Come on. Use it. Yeah, do you know what? I'll be real. Like, Uzik was a legendary amateur, just like Lomachenko. Mm. Like, you go look at any worlds, any Olympics, any Europeans for the last 12, 16 years before Uzik became a professional. He was winning everything, you know. Mm. He was going from cruiserweight, he was a 91 kilo fighter. Mm. And then just because he wanted to, he went in the WSB, which is like semi-pro five rounds, at super heavyweight, which is 91 plus. Beat absolutely everyone, became the world number one there at the weight above. And then because he qualified for the Olympics yeah, through there, he then went, oh no, I'm going to drop down the cruiserweight. Mm. And he went and won Olympic gold there. So it was like, if you ask me if he would have beat Tyson Fury, AJ, Joe Joyce, Daniel Dubois, any of these fighters... 10 years ago, 15 years ago, a billion percent. Like, he's always been that good. Like, And he's oh, come to the pros and he's been that good. Yeah. Like, so his probably worst him. moment was when Dubai hit him borderline man, for yeah, me. Yeah, Apart yeah. from that, yeah, he went undisputed straight away at that record rate at cruiserweight. Then he moved up and now he's gone undisputed at heavyweight. Yeah. So yeah. who can talk to him? Like, no and he's done it Without getting beat, and he's done it with an absolute long and stellar amateur career. Yeah, so mental. he's yeah. arguably one of the best fighters that have ever lived. Hundred percent. Yeah, he's yeah, in the mix yeah. with the accolades yeah. to prove it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Olympic gold medals, world well. champion, yeah. um, amateur, all of that, and then pro, undisputed two way. And he's done it in like 15, 16 fights. Yeah. <laughs> and he's yeah. unified the unified the heavyweight division, like. Where everyone's been trying to do this for time and not done it. Like, and just because he's box, come and boxed everyone. That's, yeah, he'll just everyone. fight anyone, everyone. anyway. Remember, look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. he's beat the whole of Great Britain. You know? He's not thinking yeah. about it's a money move. Yeah. AJ, Dubois, he's beat all of them. Tyson Fury, now he's been... Yeah, but he's, it's it's he, he rates himself that the highly. That well. He can not get that last extra 250k out of the 5 million or whatever. Like, he'll he get can it lose that, 
to make sure mm. they get in the ring because he rates himself that highly that mm. all he's got to do is get in the ring and then the next one's going to be bigger. Yeah, bigger, yeah, bigger. yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it works. True, true, yeah, Where yeah. everyone else is going, yeah, I could fight you, but I want 60%. Yeah, no, I want 40 uh, No, I want this much. I want 100 mil. I want 200 mil. Like, but who's it just going, how much is there? Okay. Obviously, otherwise he wouldn't have got yeah, all yeah, the fights. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but now nah, he's the, he can he can call the shots now. Yeah, he's shot caller. Yeah, yeah, and even he probably still just wants to fight. He's yeah. probably still one of the easiest ones to make a fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But probably still the others going. Oh, but I bring a massive name, man. Yeah, it's different. And, and but them, but them, you've like you've gone through the amateurs. You've done all of that. Them man from that part of the world, they're different. Like, I've been to Ukraine. I've yeah, been there a couple of times. They're different. What's, what's your experience of how them men are as far as the sport and how they? Do you know what? Yeah. So even as pros, yeah. Mm -hmm. They had an Olympic village in Kiev. That's why I went and sparred. And it was like, you drove like half a mile, maybe more, through like a forest, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then there was like big Olympic sign. And there was just like, imagine like a student accommodation type thing, like mm -hmm. a uni sort of thing. Just like apartments all around there, all around there. And then there was like a big hall there. And then there was like racetracks down there. And then there was mm -hmm. like, but it was like a, a complex for... Ukrainian athletes like government backed you know and yeah. I can't lie yeah after a few days bear man we were staying in is like me I was sharing a room with Jay Harris who, who's a fighter from Wales mm. I hadn't met him before and it was kind of like a competitor really because we could have fought but yeah. it was a sick experience um, but all your meals were like cooked in like canteen so yeah. like he was going there and it was just like but I liked it it was so kind of like simple I, I call it caveman food but it's like how I like to eat when it's just like Meat, carbs, some veg, you know, just yeah, like yeah, 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 simple, yeah. not trying to get all too complicated. Yeah, 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 yeah. like just like, like, like Sparta, dead man live Sparta yeah, life. But I can't yeah, lie, yeah, I'd be yeah, real, yeah. I said, yo, if I could come and live here, I think I'd be so happy. <laughs> yeah. It was just like, you're just a full time athlete, like, it was like. You wouldn't have all and, and everyone was just on it, like. And then they took us all around. Don't get me wrong. You have all these friends to take on holiday if you're there. <laughs> yeah. you'd be, you'd be there. I have different types of friends, bro. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't think there was female athletes walking around. It was like... All right, you're like, right. Yeah, yeah. It was that like summer camp, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pole 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 sprinters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, every, every, no. like, every, like, oh, yeah. what do you like? You know, yeah. like... Gymnastic yeah. team, a gymnastic team. I swear team, that was... <laughs> it would be. That's how they... So one girl, she's about six foot seven, though. Yeah, yeah. She must have been a rugby player. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't speak Ukrainian. Definitely um, pole vault. She was that? big though. Mm. She was big. Uni. Or swimming. What's the... Right, HGH Nad from birth or something. Yeah, that's how that's it is. Yeah, I'm not joking. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying she'd be the biggest brother in this room by a long way. Serious. She well, was like, that size big. Size-wise as well. She was like six foot seven. No, yeah. like, she's not going to be bigger size-wise. She had shoulders, yo. No, like, like, she had shoulders like, like a dog. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know what's mad, yeah? I didn't want to say this on camera, yeah? But we actually took a picture. That's how big she was. Mm. Well, so serious. I'll be able to find it and show you for reference. Yeah, yeah, show, yeah. Me, show me. What's the next fight for you? Um, I'm hoping it's a, a all British matchup. Oh, I'm against hoping. my man, um, Cal Cal Yafai. Galau. Gal Galau. Yeah, I that, oh, the as, brother. I boxed him as an amateur and beat him. So what's the why you want to fight him again? Is there a little smoke there? He's Olympic gold medalist. Oh, he's the, I've seen him. He's and the one that's coming. When, up, I, when I got on GB, I just beat him and then beat the GB kid to get on. So mm -hmm. I was number one, I was the ABA champ. Mm -hmm. We got on at the same time. After five months, Rob McCracken, who's his trainer still all of this day in his mm -hmm. professional career, who's the head of GB as well, all, mm -hmm. still now all of this time, mm -hmm. um, they sent Galau, even though I'd just beat him months before, to five tournaments yeah. before they sent me to my first. It's personal. When they sent me to my first, I beat someone that was better than any of the people he'd boxed. Yeah, yeah. Three years before he was a, a world yeah. champion from Kazakhstan, yeah. he'd already qualified for real. Yeah. Already qualified. I see what you're doing. And he'd been to two Olympics before and got to quarterfinals both times. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. world ranked number three at the time, and I beat him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I had a, an injury, and then I could have still got sent. I thought, but then it was a big urgency that from the airport I had to go and get it scanned. Like mm. I, I had to do it. And mm. then the news is, oh, you can't fight for eight weeks. And then yeah. this person who they'd already sent. This girl out, who they'd already sent five times before me, yeah. then was the number one. Because even though I just got one fight, one win that was better than anything he'd just done, yeah. then I got emergency rushed. I literally went from the airport, got picked up and taken to like Harley Street to get my hands uh, scanned. Yeah. And then, oh, bad news, you're out of the qualifiers because your hands fucked. So then I went into the ABAs anyway, kind of like half cooked, like not even like really like 
caring, I'm thinking about it. I got to the final and lost. Yeah, and then yeah. that's when I turned pro. But I just had a bee in my bonnet that I beat this kid. Literally, every spa I felt more than comfortable with. Like, there was times I can remember coaches going, you can't let him keep hitting me like that. You know what mm. I mean? But then, because of who he's training still is to this day, Carl Froch is old coach. Andy Joshua's old coach. Ron McCracken, because of who he still is with this day, Bilal. Mm -hmm. He was the one making decisions about my amateur career when I'd beaten this kid and sending him everywhere. So I get it. So, it's good coming so yeah, this is like a vendetta. Yeah, 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 I, I wanted yeah. you to say it. But yeah, you know yeah. what? You know I respect sick, it. Though, at the same time. It. I actually like Galal. That's what's quite sick. So don't take this ass whooping personal. It's one of them ones. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Low yeah. key, but he's a good yeah. fighter, and he knows that when we come together, it's always a good fight. But I think deep down, he knows that I've always been the guy, and there's never been a ring in that he's. But been in his guy. mind, if he beats you, oh yeah, he's gone. Clear. He's gone clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then he's and then he's like done come full circle. But who's his who's his promoter? Eddie. Oh, you're laughing then. So it's as good as a done deal then. Well, I've agreed. Ah, oh, no, but I, I saw that you saying them, they didn't want it. I saw after you, like, I don't know why I said you know that. Happened, yeah? don't, 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 I'll be fight. real, yeah. Like, I caught wind when I'm asking on fight week and then even to the point of fight day, is my next fight done? I signed for it two months ago. Hmm. Like, if we're doing a deal, is he me versus Pounds, and, and you're the one dealing with it, mm -hmm. if we've agreed, yeah. and now I've gone into a two month camp, gone and fought in America, yeah. what, you can't have one conversation? Is he, is he undefeated? Yeah. Yeah, he's undefeated. That's but he's only had like seven fight fights. So That's it's why you don't want to fight you. No, but it's not even that. It's like, I'm the biggest fight and I think it's got to the end of the line where it's basically for him. We're giving you too much money for who you're fighting. Unless you're going to fight him, then we don't. Like, what, yeah, what yeah, else yeah, are you yeah, doing? Yeah. Like, no one else at these weights. Oh. I'm, I'm him. Is he taking an L yet? Is he 7 and 0? No, he's 7 and 0. Yeah. But I'm him at the division. There is yeah. like, if anyone in my division from anywhere in the world wants to make a name, like yeah, but is, is, yeah, but is that's a bit of a giant. Like, that's that's, that's what I was gonna say. Is he world level? He... Yeah, well, he's a Olympic gold medalist, man. He's a good yeah, yeah, that's he's amateurs, three years bro. older than me. Yeah, but now, actually, let me not try and not sell the fact. But yeah, he's three, man. no, but he's, he's older than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's not even like we're not trying to sell the fact. No, because I'm saying too much. Two but times Olympian. Yeah, he should be on it. There's no reason he shouldn't be taking that fact. And he's turned pro, and he's had like seven times. He should want all the smoke. All his fights have been like ten rounders, twelve rounders. Yeah, he should want. He should want the fact. All right, then say you don't fight him, or say any chance around the world with he like because he was the number one for like six, seven years. Yeah. After like you I said, fight, no, I beat him. I got pushed out because yeah. of him. Right, after you fight him, who would you fight? You going back for the world titles again? What are you doing? I'm not Bam's, sure because they, Bam, they mentioned Bam that dropped this, his belt um, and got yeah, back up. Yeah, yeah. Because they mentioned that this fight might be for a world title. So yeah, that's what I was thinking. Bam was our weight above and came down, didn't it? Yeah, and then yeah. he won a world title at my weight, and then we thought he beat me, and then he went back up. So now when he won that world title, yeah, them two are vacant now. Was there anything surprising up. in that fight? Did you feel like he was a bit like he's big, like? Yeah, he was definitely bigger than me. Like, you could see it in the yeah, ring. You could feel it in the ring. But, yeah, yeah. like, everyone in the ring is usually bigger than me. Like, everyone, <laughs> yeah, I'll be real. I don't put on that much weight yeah. in between the Wayne and yeah. the, the... Like, I just don't. But, no, I don't care about any of that. Yeah. Um, he was just a good fighter. And the damage to my face meant I couldn't really... I couldn't really see him. Yeah. You showed heart in that fight, though. Yeah. You had your ratings. Yeah, but I, like, the thing is, I'll be real, like... I always know, I, I know that of me if that yeah, but we sense. we know that but here's the thing we was having it yeah we did talk this the other day you were talking this thing about I said it to you I don't know if I messaged you or what you were talking this thing about you want to fight you want to have a fight because yeah. you know you can have a fight so you want to show you can I have a fight I enjoy it it's better like, yeah, but it, that's actually fun you don't me. need to though how you're doing things is cool bro you're just like if they can't hit you they can't hit you I know you've already shown like you're, you're not a pussy, innit? Like, you mm -hmm. stood in the fire with him. You was fucked up from around. Your eye was fucked from early. You stood in there. You, you swung it out. You had a punch up with him, basically, because mm -hmm. you weren't your usual self, because you couldn't do all of that usual stuff. So you had a punch up. We know you're capable. What in you is, why do you, is it because of the greats that you've watched? Is it because of the critics? Is it because of what makes you uh -huh. want to say, I want to stand in there and have a trade up because I'm making. I know you don't get hit money, <laughs> but what makes you want. That? My life is just constant, like, what is happening right now, mm -hmm. now in the next five seconds. Like, I'm ADHD, so I kind of, like, get over things really quickly. Mm. I get in the ring, and I enjoy getting in the ring. Like, that is my favourite part of the year, really. Mm. Having a fight, I swear. For some reason, it is funner for me to have a rock'em sock'em and go back and forth. Mm. I enjoy it more. I get hit. I'm not, like, I'm not getting sad or down about getting hit. Mm. Go back and watch the tape. <laughs> No, I get, I'm getting licked by Bam and I'm smiling mm. saying, come on. Mm. Yeah. 
my face is like coming out, he can blind my nose and I've got a break yeah. in my face and it's coming out. And I'm going, come on. I'm smiling at him. Mm. Even when I got put down and I got up, I smiled at him as I walked to the corner. Mm. Like, for some reason, I just don't not enjoy it. Like, even if it's going bad. Because it's, it's high adrenaline. It's yeah, like, it's, it's not you see bad. what, hey, hey, hey. You see what them man uh, 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 drain out of children and drink? That, that, that adrenochrome. Nigga, what? Say yeah. that again? You see that? You see that? You see that? You see that conspiracy? Yeah, 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 I know what you're one. talking about. 8113, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. What is he yeah. talking about? Well, allegedly, right, allegedly. It's, alleged, it's a conspiracy allegedly. thing. I'm not, I'm not even trying to get our thing demonetized no, for this episode. Hey, Doug, Doug, Doug. What I'm saying is. Yeah, but I know what you're talking Allegedly, about. they take blood out and of, of someone when their adrenaline is all the way through the roof and then they. to make them get like a high. What I'm saying is. Right. Mm hmm. My adrenaline goes so far up when it's hard that that feeling I'm, addi- like I'm addicted to because you can't get it until it's hard. I can't get in a boxing ring or a moment in life and unless like things are really going bad in front of me, my adrenaline can't get that high. I get that. And I'm kind of addicted constantly to that chase of, a, of adrenaline hit. So if I don't spar for a couple of weeks, like my, like my body will start, my mind will start just coming down like... I'm not going to use the word depressed, that's way too strong, but like, that's the only time I would be able to liken any, like, mm. my spirit. Yeah. Like, if I get injured, because mm. I can't have a fight. Yeah. Mm. Like, once I'm back in fighting, like, it's that constant, like, hit, it's, that, it's like a high. My like, lips it, yeah. I swear. Yeah, I get like, you. It's the, but it's, the, it's, it's getting my adrenaline up there, yeah. so, like, for me, if I've got someone that can come spar me, yeah, and they're good, they'll be the one coming back. Yeah, if yeah. I get someone in that I just punch up, by the second, third round, I'm going to Grant, don't bring him back. And he yeah. won't come back. Yeah. Because I don't get that same feeling. Yeah, I don't yeah, get that, yeah, like, yeah. like, I need a challenge. I need, like, like, when you lot were kicking off in here earlier, mm. I came running around here not knowing what to expect, <laughs> yeah? I tried sussing out their thing straight away. I thought, Doug's about to get clocked, yeah? I thought, why is Pound so calm, yeah? And I was about to grab something and throw it. you lit up, though, I see. <laughs> no, Pound is like, on it. All I heard from down there was, like, screaming and shouting, yeah? I didn't think it was a joke thing. I didn't think, like, I came running in, like... And don't get me wrong, I'm thinking, yo, okay, I'm the smallest one in the room, but let's get it cracking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All in like 0.2 seconds. Yeah. Then I seen her laughing, I'm like, oh. I went back down, I kept my heart still going, I'm like, these cunts, man, they got me fucked, got me fucked up, my heart. Alright, it's the way I see you stepping, because I see it. I, I, mean, see I just step, step foot in But you before. step in like, like, wait, is it alright? Is it like, what's going on? I didn't even see. No, I, I see, see. me. It's, it's like, it was like lit up, you get me? Like, you get me? Was it like, oh Love shit, it. what the fuck's going on? It was more Love like, but like, my like, adrenaline got a little pump up, so <laughs> I liked it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'll be real. Love it. So tell me three boxes to look out for. One Olymp- from the Olympic lock that's coming. Olympics is this year, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's started. Has it started already? Yeah, I think the basketball uh, pre prelims right. the basketball. Who are we watching out for in the Olympics first? You can think on that. You know, I, I, and, I would and need to look back pro. at the team. I would need to look back at the team. I know a couple of fighters. Well, GB guys, yeah. Yeah, but a couple of ones that I, I was trying to get over, not me trying to, but I wanted to qualify, they just, just missed out. Like, mm. um, you don't even have to be a GB guy. If you know anyone internationally, you just heard like, hey, look out for Dern, that he's going to be. Dominicans. Is it you know what? I'll be real, yeah. I get kind of disconnected from the amateurs now. Yeah. Like, when I was when I was an amateur, I could have told you. Yeah. Mm. Everyone from yeah. different weights, from the different countries. Now I could probably only tell you that in the pros. Because you know, right. in the tell, pros. Scrap that then, because it was Daps that told me to ask that question. So it was a dead question. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Text me, said, said, ask the question. So that's, that's why I, that's why I, on the front, on the front seat. Now I'll be real, like, like, I'll be real, like, I'd probably just give you people like, I, I can know. All right, give me three from the pros, three from the pros to look yeah. out for, up and comers. What? Who's going to, right, no, give me one that's coming up that I should look out for, one that's going to be a world champion and one that's going to be a British champion. Um, Any weights? I'll be real, yeah. Country. Could I've already mentioned. Say the name again, Giorgio. Giorgio yeah. Yeah. He's going to be which one? What's, is that just the, that's the one to look out for? Giorgio Hollywood Vicioli. Now. To look out for, yeah. Yeah. Right, who's going to be a world champion? No, but who's he's he's champion? he's someone that at twenty one years age does things effortlessly that great fighters couldn't even think about doing. Yeah. Like genuinely, like his reactions, his spitefulness, mm. like his gauge of range, his rhythm, his mm. pace. Like, even like when they come together, he's like very good in the clinch. He comes from a kickboxing background. He's only boxed for five years. Yeah, his clinch should be strong. He's won two senior A. He started boxing. His like second or third fight was against some kid that had 
40 fight national champion yeah. like and he just lost I watched it he shouldn't have lost yet yeah. and then two years later he's won a senior NBA title a year later he's gone up weight a weight that he's Tough. not even at now he's Tough. gone back down and he won another senior NBA title yeah, that was only five, five years and he's turned pro and had four fights and knocked three out Right, so, all right, that's him. Now, give me someone that's going to be a British champ. You can see being a British champion. Okay, I can see him going past this as well. This is another one of my fighters. So I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just letting you promote. I'm oh. saying, I'm saying he's uh, mandatory for British. So you're saying British is so you said so him again for that. Be quite that's cool. That's no, cool. no, no, no. Oh, Ishmael, someone else. Ishmael, Ishmael Davy. He's from Leeds. Mm. He has a different sort of background. Like, so he's not like me that come off um, young child prodigy mm. uh, 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 England GB mm. eight. Eight nine years ago, he was on the wing saying, "I'm never coming back here again." Mm. Making yeah. people hold up hands and mm. whacking them with socks wrapped around his hands and yeah. whatever he could get his hands on. Um, mm. Yeah, he's had a hard, a oh, hard no. start. Mm-hmm. You know, was he, he had twin boys, age four, 13, 14. Yeah, yeah. So he's a father to two twins. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah look. That that young and look. like. His story, I would, I'd love him to come down here and tell it. Like he's my proper yeah. people, but he's a, a big name in. developing up Leeds, big yeah. family. Um, and world champion. I think he'll be a world champion. I think, but he's his next fight. He's got one more fight, win that, and then he'll be fighting for the British title. And what weight does he fight? At? Uh, he's a, a light middleweight. All right, we're looking out for him. All right, what have we got as we bring things to a close? What have we got to look out for? The chap, talk to the people, let them know what they should look out for. What's coming? What's going on? Um. Phew. I think everyone should get some rations in their in their cupboards, boys. Because World War Three is upon us. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's rising. Yeah. We need to start getting our faction. We need to start making some real telegram groups, and we've got a panic button, and we're all gonna go displayed like because I don't think we'll be afforded the luxury for for our whole lifetimes. Let me be real. Yeah. Yeah. If you're asking me what to look out for, I hear yeah. You. I hear you. Ask why the billionaires are building bunkers. I hear you. Yeah, That's no, what I'm real Maybe, hopefully, maybe in London because the world's money is here. Maybe mm. we're, we're we're safe far, but maybe that makes us less safe. No, you're, mm. not, you're, yeah. not, you're, you're not waffling, shit. bro. Real shit. Uh, bro, <laughs> yeah, real, real stuff. Like. You know the people themselves happy to end it though. Now that they're after you <laughs> depressed everyone. Uh, everyone no, in the bunkers. I know, but lying, I listen to no? that, but I I, 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 I watch a lot of that stuff. And I watch them as well. Yeah, I watch it. I watch them as well. You get me? It's mad. It's mad what we're going through and what we don't know what's happening behind the scenes. I don't watch anything, so I need to know. Do you know what? Even like, but beside of that, yeah. Like, what are we? Like, what is the human race? What was we here supposed to be for? I can't lie. These things were probably never meant to exist. Mm. We made them. It's all man-made. Mm. And if you're man-made, it's really great. I'll be real. We should be walking around on our hands and feet outside climbing trees and being, like, wild yeah. animals. We yeah. shouldn't be thinking about tax and yeah. monogamy and, and iPhone. My dad went straight from tax to monogamy. <laughs> My <laughs> guy. Yeah. I'm just start. saying like these yeah, are all yeah, man-made yeah. concepts. That's the you point. Point. Nah, nah, I feel you bro. I I'm saying at some point they wasn't and now they was and nah, that's nah. everyone's religion that's, that's everyone's that's thought the truth. ideology. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, truth. Apart oh, yeah. from what we can see the rest of being being yeah. we are living outside of that. Mm-hmm. And three days without electricity water even sunlight if something just changed whatever What's gonna happen to us in three days? Yeah, people fall three apart. days. If people can't go and get something refrigerated or can't turn on their phone and ring someone or go to their bank account, and it, it, well, there is no bank no more. Yeah. Imagine yeah. if we went back somehow like that. It's, our life and existence is a lot more fragile. That's why people shouldn't focus on the bullshit things and trying to, Talk to compete them. with each other over who's got a bigger car or a bigger watch or a bigger house or a better bitch or yeah. like just live and let live, man. Yeah, we don't even hate each other. We're powerful, all the same. Powerful, Every powerful. feeling you felt, I felt, maybe right. different times, maybe it's like that. From the whole range, mm. and we know that because we can look at people that we don't even speak the same language of, and they can be muted, and we can make a usually quite accurate guess of what their feelings are and moods are mm. if we're watching them interact. Mm. You can see facial expressions, you can see anguish, you can see disgust, you can see like envy, you can see it in people's faces. Mm. And Big everything fact. in between. Yeah. We're yeah. all assimilated and we've just been taught our whole life to be separated. See, yeah. hear that? Yeah, real shit. I like that. That's con- that's my kind of talk there still. Yeah, that's yeah, constructive. Talk, talk to them, champ. All right, listen, we're going to wrap it up there. Sunday service. The champ's been in the building again for a third time. Won't be the last, I'm sure. Trust me. Pounds and Punches is coming back at some point soon. Yeah. Watch out. It's the hustler. Big Dougie, Doug. Sonny Edwards. Stop!